is a special group, but I knew we would have the chemistry off the court. And uh, when we started the season, you know, we had a lot of you know, things to learn about people. And uh, um, our hitters had to get to know our setter. She was new this year. Um, our back row people were new. And we were in different positions than we were last year, you know, uh, most of our players. And they've done that. They found the chemistry on the court and just a great group of girls um, doing their jobs to get, what, get it done. There was never any question that Holy Trinity was going to be able to hit the volleyball. That outlier skill, more than anything else, explained the Crusaders' number one preseason ranking. But it's the everything else that HTC does so well that unfortunately gets forgotten in the mix. Take, for example, their serving skills. Well, you know, it's something we work on pra in practice uh, every day on serving, and, and we want to be efficient with it. Um, you know, but with that, we want to be aggressive. And, you know, Nicole Wilkins leads the state right now in aces and is doing a great job, and she's got uh, great players behind her. You know, we got that float serve going, and it does a lot of movement. Among the other aspects of Holy Trinity's success getting overlooked in the flourish of big kills is their abilities in serve receive and the defense. You know, our passers, you know, they love that. They love that part of the game. Kristen Brink, uh, you know, she's in the background. Lauren Fukutakis, um, you know, Nicole Wilkins, uh, Michaela, they all do their job when they're in the back row passing. And, you know, without them getting the ball to Maria, um, you know, we're not going to get what we need to get done. And, and our hitters aren't going to look as good as they do. So they do a great job of making the team look good. And, you know, they're just uh, the, the unspoken players that, um, you know, need a lot more credit than they're getting. And the same holds true of team quarterback Maria Vonderhaar. And she's a great kid, coachable, and uh, you know the kids just like her. She's a nice kid, and she wants to get better. And she's been working hard in the off season to make her game better. And uh, you know, defensively, she played for us last year, and so you know, there she just gets a, a little, uh, little step closer to uh, her goals and, and the teams. These kids, you know, they want to take ownership of their team, and uh, you know, they want to do some things that uh, haven't been done yet. And you know, they've got their goals, and, and they're going to do whatever it takes to get there.